ancient scholars who observed the precession of the equinox provided a simpler explanation than a wobbling earth. They said that our sun curves through space, moving in a great orbit of its own, pulling the earth and other planets along with it. If the Earth did move along with the Sun on a curved path through space, we might see the same precession of the equinox through the zodiac and changing of the pole stars that the lunisolar wobble theory now attempts to explain. But it would not be caused by the Earth's wobbling independent of the Sun. It would be caused by the whole solar system curving through space. Another reference frame is at work. We believe that our sun moves in space with our entire solar system, that the axis of our Earth remains aligned to a point in space where that is, that is fixed in respect to the equinoxes, it's fixed in respect to all the solstices, so that basically our entire system moves around a point in space. And this point in space, we believe, is a star. A partner star to our own sun some say the binary model confirms all of our celestial observations without the need for excessive torque or epicycle type explanations. While the concept of a second sun challenges our present understanding of the solar system, it is hardly a new idea. Some of the earliest astronomical records refer to the existence of dual suns. In fact, Mithraic beliefs were based on this concept. There's one sun which is part of the planetary system and there's one sun outside the solar system and this allows Mithras to both be the sun, Mithras Sol Invictus, Mithras the unconquerable sun and also seem to be operating for the sun or on behalf of the sun. The yogis of ancient India accepted the binary model as a matter of fact and also mentioned that it was the cause of precession. In 1894, Swami Sri Yukteswar, a great Hindu sage, described our solar system and the great cycle. We learn from Oriental astronomy that moons revolve around the planets, and planets turning on their axis revolve with their moons around the sun. The sun its planets and their moons take some star for its jewel and revolves around it in about 24,000 years of our Earth, a celestial phenomenon which causes the backward movement of the equinoctial points around the zodiac. 